She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Okay, sport. Am I? I'm not a kid, am I? Oh. Either that guy's really fucking tall or I'm a kid. With a beard. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment mod list. I am the Bearded OG, and we are back at our base, as you can see here, because it's time for us to level, and then we're going to jump right back into the main quest line and look for our father. So let's go ahead and sleep. Um, yeah, we'll sleep for eight hours. And then what we're going to do um, for leveling is I need to have repair level 80 in order to make um, the 50 caliber armor piercing rounds and we are going to start using um, the anti-material rifle too so we're just going to keep grinding on this until I can get it um, up to 80 well you know what though I think I don't know if we have a repair of 5 or 10 um, on our armor I think, I think we have a repair of five. I'm pretty sure we do. We have, I think we have guns 10 and repair five. So yeah. Okay. So let's take that and we'll, we'll bump this up to 75 and then with our armor, that'll give us a five, uh, the extra five that we need. Okay. And then as far as our perks here, um, let me look through these again and see which one we want. All right, I think we're going to go with and stay back. You've discovered a shotgun technique that has a chance to knock an enemy back. That sounds like fun. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Um, so let me look at something here. If we go to our apparel and yeah, so this has five repair. So we just have to raise repair four more points uh, the next time we level and then we're golden. We can make um, armor piercing 50 caliber ammo. Uh, so we are going to take with us the anti-material rifle. I've got it all fixed up. I have one um suppressor mod for it um so I, I we still need to find the cf parts and the custom bolt that one that decreases the weight uh in particular would be really useful um and yeah so i think we're ready to go i should be in good shape let's take a look at our statistics yeah everything's green here we're in a pretty damn good condition and uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the the mole hole or the you know the fast travel thing and we're going to go uh, down to we could go to riverboat landing and then to rivet city uh yeah i don't know i'll fi i'll figure out how i'm going to get down there uh, off camera of course and i will meet you guys at or very near the jefferson memorial Okay, guys, we're at the Jefferson Memorial. Um, let's take a look at our our quest again here. Look for Dad in Project Purity's control room. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We have uh, been over in this area before, obviously, because there's dead mutants and stuff, but we haven't been inside the memorial yet. Don't know if we have repops around here or not. What was that? Oh, we just discovered Jefferson Memorial. Oh, there's a guy right there. All right. Let's try out our 50 cal weapon here. That was a weird s sound. <laughs> I think the weapons fire. Look at the size of those bullets. That's awesome. And the sound, the death sound, kind of got mixed up there or something. I don't know. 
All right. Where does this bridge go? Oh, okay. So you can also just come through here. For some reason, I was thinking we had to go around this way, but I guess not. Okay, let's go into the gift shop. Hmm, your weapons fire, but... Oh shit! Take the frag grenades. Oh. There, it takes care of that. Does it for the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll take that and that. Thirty two pistol. Nah, I don't think we'll do that. Take that ammo. Though. Nothing in the suitcase. Definitely want those. Check the bathroom for any... Oh, I'm not going in there. Any medical first aid boxes. Okay, so we see a bunch of chemical chemistry stations in here. Probably dear old dad working on his water purification. Well, hello. Goodbye. He was being awfully quiet. I don't think I'm going to be able to shoot him through that crack. because will probably hit the wall. Basement gift shop rotunda. All right. That's the rotunda. We're just going to clear this. This uh, first area. of Tunda. Okay. So uh, we've made it. We've come around full circle. Let's um, 
go through the rotunda next. Or to the rotunda. Oh, wow. Look for dad in Project Purity's room completed. Search dad's holotapes for clues to his location. Huh. Okay, that just goes back. Activate airlock control. Jefferson's inside the water. What's up with that? Oh shit! Evolve Centaur? Damn, that scared me. Tough mother, too, man. One more shot. Oh, well, I was hoping for a fight. Okay. Uh, we'll take those. That goes back to the gift shop. That goes back to the gift shop. As usual, we're just making sure the room's clear. Okay, it looks like that's as far that way we can go. Okay, let's see what this has to say. got three entry tapes. Search dad's holotapes for clues to his location. Listen to personal journal entry 10. Okay. <clears throat> um, that's an under data, right? Yeah. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Brawn's that might help me get this purifier up and running. 112? All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills. I know where it is. And it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. <coughs> it's not close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Brawn has the missing puzzle piece. Okay, so he said Braun having a missile, a missing puzzle piece, and we did find Vault 112 in that gas station off to the west. So, let's see what these other two have to say. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault -like facility after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex's social preservation program and his work on something called Gek. The Garden of Eden creation kit. Okay. Let's see what it has to say. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. 
a terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. And no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, holotapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. Interesting. Even in Vault 101. Okay. <clears throat> so, we are heading to Vault 112, a place I had intended to go visit anyway. But whilst we're here, um, let's go ahead and just go down into the basement so we can clear the place. See if there's anything significant down here. Besides more super mutants. Take those. Fuse access AI flood control. I right hear a centaur. Fuse access A1, rather. <clears throat> Kill those guys right now so we don't have to later. This door is powered and will not open. Oh, that's the mainframe room. Okay. We shall go this way then. <laughs> Doctor's bag, nice. Uh, we have a stem pack right there. I don't care about the rest of that stuff. More journal entries. I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. In her place is oh. my son. Small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine. This is no place for an infant. Especially an infant without his mother. Oh, so is he saying I was born this is where I was born? Maybe I was born in here. Uh the world just got really weird. Let's do a quick save here. I mean an, a real save, not a quick save. Uh ooh, ooh, uh uh this isn't good. This is not good. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. That was weird. Oh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. So yeah, I'm 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 thinking this was uh where we were actually born here. Because he said, this is no place for an infant, you know. And that was after my mom died. Uh, let's do... It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt. Both because our recalculations have gotten... And because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Madison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, he'll tolerate none of them. 
If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen? It breaks my heart to go. But I must put the needs of my child before my own. Hmm. Somebody, uh, he's, he mentioned Scribe Rothschild. We'll have to keep that name in mind. I'll take that and those. Generator there. Can't move. Look out, Dugby. Flood control power switch. Talk. Flood control. I'm gonna think that that will flood the basement, maybe? Oh, more tapes. So we we got yeah we got one two a three I guess the first one and then something called better days. Well, here we are again. Project Purity and me. It's been close to twenty years since my last entry, since I left all of this behind to make a life for my son. We've spent that time in Vault One O One, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect. But it was safe, and that's all I could have hoped for. Now my son is a grown man, handsome, intelligent, confident, just like his old man. <laughs> and as hard as it was to admit it, he doesn't need his daddy anymore. Didn't we listen to that once before? I don't know. So here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running. But it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. That will serve for now, but I need help powering up the mainframe. I am to visit Madison at Rivet City. I spoke with Dr. Lee Madison at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. Here I come again, the very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine, God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. Seems to me like I recall Dr. Lee Madison... Um, sort of in favor of this project, I think. I don't know, I don't remember. It's been such a long time since we last talked to her. Um, I, or maybe she thought the project was a waste of time, but she respected our dad or something. I don't remember. Let's see what this says. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please... I'm trying to work. <laughs> Now's not the time. James is getting frisky. So that's the next step. <laughs> Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> we'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if that encounter was what brought us into the world. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Uh, did we look here? Yeah, we did. We came that way. We, there's no more direction to go there. Let's go down through here. Okay. 
10 millimeter pistol. We'll, let's see what kind of shape it's in. Nah. I'm kind of at that point now where I've got so much money that I'm more interested in the story than looting everything under the sun. I mean, not entirely, because you still got to loot in these games. It's just part of how you play them, but I'm not quite as picky about it now as I was. Uh, oh, okay, this is just back out to this, this air room here. All right, I think we're done here. Maybe flooding the place would, would be one way we could have taken care of the muties. But uh, we have our own effective method for that, called this cause shotgun. Um, I, I think we're done here at the memorial. We've been in the gift shop, we've been in the rotunda, and we've been in the basement. Okay. Where does this go? Nowhere, really. Oh, a pump control. Let's see what's down here. Oh, shit. Oh, this is interesting. Dog meat. Look out. Is this just an alternate way into the place? Yeah, I think it is. Activate pipe controls. I need a key to the sift pump, which I don't have. What does that do? Can't use this now. All right. So I guess we'll be coming in here later, I'm guessing. I guess that I'm guessing that I guess we'll come in here later. I guess. All right, I'll stop. All right, guys. So it looks like our next stop is going to be uh, Vault 112, uh, which is way out to the west. Um, how are we doing on, yeah, we're doing good on weight, so I just didn't loot a whole bunch of stuff. And, oh, I brought my ant bits with me. Okay, let's, let's take one of those and, whoops. Both of those, and then we're in pretty good shape. All right, I think I'm just going to head on over there. Um, so I'm going to cut the camera here and I'll meet you guys over at Vault 112. All right, guys, we are at the garage with uh, Vault 112. Oh, get that thing. I believe we've already looted everything in here. Um, yeah, because I wouldn't have taken that anyways. Alright, door to vault 112. See what happens. Uh, 
What is that noise? So it's just open? <laughs> Come on, dog me, get out of the way. Dude, seriously. I'm gonna send you home. What I don't get is how this place is just open, so I can just waltz right on in here. Oh, uh, maybe my dad figured out how to open it. Guess that could be the case. Oh, shit. Let's switch to pulse slugs. To Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years <laughs> behind schedule. Okay. Yeah, we're a little late, but, uh, you know, better late than never. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Tranquility Lounger? A tranquility lounger is available. Please be seated. Uh, okay. Is this thing gonna turn hostile? Please find the nearest tranquility lounger and be seated. All right, let's go left. What's in here? That must be tranquility loungers. So in this vault, they put people to sleep. Kind of like uh, in Fallout 4. Are you friendly? Hello, sir. Hello. Oh, wow, look at... Crazy. That requires a key. Breath taker. Broken. Oh, activate tranquility launcher. Hmm. Alright, well, um, obviously the game wants us to do that, but before we do that, let's just explore the rest of the area first. We can't go in that room. I think we came through here, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go down these stairs. It's another way in, I suppose. And what about over here? Another way in. This goes into a server room. OK. 
Yeah, I guess that's all there is, so... Can we get in here? That's a hard computer. Alright. Well... I guess we're gonna hop into... This... Tranqu... Oh, wait a minute. There's somebody in there. Activate Tranquility Launcher. Dress in your Vault 112 suit. Remove all other articles of clothing to prevent damage to the equipment. Thank you for your cooperation. Hey, wait a minute. Is that my dad? No, that is definitely not my dad. <laughs> uh, where's the one that said to activate? Activate broken tranquility launcher. The other one that said to activate had I thought I had somebody in there. Yeah. I think that's my dad. He's got a Vault 101 suit on. It says it's occupied. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go off into La La Land and hopefully we'll meet our dad there. Let's do this. Only residents wearing a Vault 112. Okay, where the hell do I get a Vault 112 suit? Or did they give me one? Oh, they did. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Sit in the unoccupied Tranquility Lounger. What's that face that just flashed in front of me? Okay. Well, hi there. Oh, I'm sitting. Why is everything all kind of brown and white? Hey there, sport. What? Beautiful day, isn't it? George Nosbum? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Okay, sport. Am I? I'm not a kid, am I? Oh. Either that guy's really fucking tall or I'm a kid. With a beard. Hello. Martha Simpson. Good day to you. Good day to you, Martha. Um, have you seen my dad? Nice day, isn't it? What can you tell me about the neighbor? This is a pretty convincing... Yeah. Do you know that we're in a simulation? Sorry, kiddo, but I'm not in the mood for jokes. And also, you talk without your mouth moving. That's kind of creepy. Um, have you seen my dad? I don't think so. But then I haven't really been looking for him. Sorry. Martha, you're kind of really creeping me out. Uh, is it a nice day? I suppose. I hadn't really noticed. Okay, uh, what can you tell me about this simulated neighborhood? I like it well enough, I suppose. Mabel is good company most of the time. And, well, the other neighbors are mostly very nice. Mostly. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Have a great day. You too. And try moving your mouth the next time you talk. Hello. Lemonade for five cents. Hi there. I'm Timmy. Wanna play? Timmy, you don't move your mouth either when you talk. Uh, have you seen my dad? Your dad? Nope, I haven't. Did he get lost? Um, maybe. 
What can you tell me about this neighborhood? It's okay, I guess. I don't really have nobody to play with, except for Betty. And she's kind of, well, she's mean. She's mean. Okay. Um, what is this I, okay, I guess business? Uh, none of this is real. What? You're weird. Uh-huh. Okay. Bye, Tim. See you later. Didn't even offer to sell me any lemonade. What the hell? Uh, I already talked to you, Martha. Okay. We gotta find uh, Betty. There she is. Betty, you are creepy looking. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. Um, okay. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. I don't know if I like the sound of that. And you are? I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? No, I don't think so. Um, no thanks, no game. Yeah, what's going on? We're going to play a game now, silly. That's what's going on. Uh, no games for me. Uh -uh. I'm looking for my dad. Gee, I don't know. What's he like? Mm, he doesn't look as creepy as you. Um, look, I know he's in here. I mean, in the vault. He's an older guy, around 50. He's a scientist looking for Dr. Braun. Yeah. <laughs> that's your daddy? Uh, yeah, that's funny. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This is going to be the best game ever. Um, no thanks. No games for me. Now, yeah, tell me where my father is, you little brat. Oh, don't be mean. <laughs> That's not a good way to start. <laughs> but maybe a good way to end, huh? Jeez. I said we're going to play a game, so that's what we're going to do. You know what? Do you have an automatic shotgun? I do. Okay, we'll play along. Look, kid, I'm not interested. I said I want I to play I know you a said game. that. It's easy. You make Timmy Newsbaum cry. Newsbaum. And I'll help you. If you don't. If I don't. Then I guess you'll never find out where your daddy is. Okay. Um. I don't particularly want to make Timmy Newsbaum cry. What the hell, man? Okay. On? Mabel sure does make some wonderful pies. She's are you, a great cook. Are you somebody different? Later. Bill Foster. Hi, you kiddo. Hi. What's the good word? Uh, you tell me. Where's my dad? Can't say that I have, kiddo. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up. Uh, okay. Um. All right, tell me about Timmy. The Nussbaum boy. Huh? Quiet kid. Seems like his parents don't give him much wiggle room. Okay, wiggle room. Gotcha. Just between you and me, kiddo. He looks like he's what we'd have called a mama's boy back in my day. That's not very nice. Um, this is a simulation. You do realize that, right, Bill? Is that so? Yes, it is. Well, you ought to tell that to my big toe, kiddo. Hurts like the dickens since I stubbed it earlier today. Feels pretty real to me. I'm sure vault was able to simulate that pain. Um, What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Nice place. Real nice. Everyone's friendly and always happy to lend a hand. Yep, you've got that right. Heck of a day to get some work done outdoors. All right, goodbye. Good day. I'm not talking to you, lady. Um, okay, so... This whole place is just a circle. Um, so let's start at the... Did we talk to you? Yeah, you're... In, news bomb George let's start by the lemonade stand and we'll go into each house and see what happens I don't think I've ever been in one of these houses with it all nice and clean like this military school brochure this brochure promotes the Hoffman training academy with a okay that needs to stay up longer because I can't read that fast I mean, if we have to make Timmy cry, I guess we have to make him cry. It's kind of mean, though. I'm usually only mean to, you know, like, super mutants and feral ghouls and raiders, not Timmy's. But sometimes life just doesn't give you much of a choice. Unless there's an... Hello. 
Another way we can do this. Hey, did I talk to you yet? No, Pat. Well, hi there. Hi, Pat. Um, have you seen my dad? No, sweetie, I have it. I'm sure he'll come looking for you before long, though. Okay, um, you realize this is a simulation? What? Oh, sweetie, maybe you should just run along and play. You know, you don't look very happy, Pat, noose mom. What can you tell me about your son? Timmy? Oh, he's a good boy. George and I are so proud of him. Okay. I don't care what Mabel says. I don't think military school would do him any good at all. Hmm. I have half a mind to give her that brochure back and tell her just what she can do with it. What would you tell her she can do with it? Never mind. I don't want to know. Um, what about the neighborhood? Well, George and I have been here, why, as long as I can remember. Okay. It sure is. But it always is here. I'll bet it is. Okay. Goodbye. Have um, all right. Let's go into this house. Rockwell residence. Hello. George. Oh, hi, George. Good day to you. Good day. Uh, have you seen my dad? He disappeared on you, huh? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll find him soon. Okay. Um, you know, this isn't real. Sure, sport. Whatever you say. Mm-hmm. What about the neighborhood? Place to live. Janet and I, well, we're quite happy here. I'm glad to hear it. Is it a nice day? You won't find a day like this. Okay. Goodbye. They're all kind of saying the same thing. Janet. Good day to you. Good day to you. I've seen my dad. Your dad? No, I haven't. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Okay. Um, This isn't real. Oh, you're such a kidder. I know. I'm a kidder. Uh, what can you tell me about your neighborhood? Roger suggested we move here. I don't quite remember when that was. Uh-huh. Like, none of you can it's really remember. Nice. We're doing quite well. Okay. Goodbye. Have a... What's that? Oh, rolling pin. Hey, wait. Do I have weapons? <gasps> I don't have weapons. Um, that's not stealing. <laughs> she didn't say anything. I, I lied to that little girl. I told her I had an automatic shotgun when I actually didn't. Shame on me. What's that? Janet Rockwell's diary. I can't use that now? What the hell? Okay. You? You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. Old Lady Dithers, what are you doing in Rockwell's house? It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. Finally, someone who has some sense. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um. We're not really here. I know. We're not really talking. I know. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. I know. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. Okay, so we need to find out who he is. Who are you talking about? He calls himself Betty now. Ah, that he's makes some sense. Same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. I have no problem believing you. Braun. Bastard thinks because he oh, he's brought this place. He's God here. But I know he still uses the fail safe terminal. I know it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what fail safe? What are you talking about? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. Gotcha. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Okay. Abandoned house. Terminal. Good day. Wait, where did where did she go? Hi, she must have just went outside. Yeah, there she is. Okay. Old Lady Dithers. Okay, let's go to this house. Oh, uh, yeah, excuse me. Oh! Let's go into Martha's house. Oh, I guess I could have had that turned on the whole time. It's really dark. Of course, this whole game is dark. Oh, my mods. Mabel. Good day to you. Good day to you. Um, you know, it's computer simulation. Computer what now? Why don't you go find Timmy and have a nice game of cat? Yeah, yeah, I figured. Okay, um, have you seen my dad? No, I haven't. Okay, what can you tell me about Timmy? I'm not one to gossip, but that boy's in trouble, if you ask me. Growing up so attached to his parents, right. what he needs is some discipline. I keep telling Pat that military school would... Yep. She doesn't understand I'm just trying to help. 
even got a brochure for her to look over. But I'll Yep, okay. Um What can you tell me about the well, neighborhood? There's certainly never a dull moment. I think it's like always something to see and always something to talk about. Right, okay. Uh nice day. Well, of course it is. What a silly thing to say. What else? Cuz it's always a nice day here. Okay, gotcha. Have a you too. Goodbye. Just going to kind of snoop around your house for a second. Lacy underwear? Okay, I don't know if I'll need that for anything, but we'll take it for now. Did we already go into her kitchen? Oh, did we? Wait a minute. Yeah, we've already been in here. We've already talked to Bill Foster. Henderson residence. The Henderson estate is in tip top shape, young master. Yeah, it looks like it. Wonderful day. You too. Activate computer terminal. I can't use this now. Okay. Doesn't do anything either. Nothing in either one of those thingies. Next house. Dithers. Old Lady Dithers. Okay, we've already talked to her. I mean, I guess we could just whack Timmy over the head with the rolling pin to make him cry. <laughs> That's so mean. Oh, here's the abandoned house. Oh. I thought I'd turn that light on. Activate garden gnome. Okay, that probably is going to lead us to a secret area. Here we go. Here, just in case we get attacked or something. You cannot unequip this item. Right, okay. Uh, what happened? Nothing happened. All right, I guess we're going to have to make Timmy cry. I don't see any other option. <sighs> Poor Timmy. Why is dog meat just hanging out over here? Oh, that's not dog meat. It's Doc. Good doggy. Problem. Say, Martha. Oh, Mabel, did you want to look for a new robot? I know you're not comfortable with yours. No, no, I don't like robots. Don't like the one I have and don't want a new one. If I didn't rely on the thing so much, I'd just get rid of it. Really, Mabel, it's fine. There's no reason to feel uncomfortable. It's just another machine. Well, maybe you feel that way. Whatever. I really don't <laughs> like it. I'm not going to sit there all day and listen to them gab about robots. Okay, let's go here. Um, and do we have... Uh, do we have that military journal thing we can look at? Data miscellaneous. What? How is it that we have 4,294,967,280 aid? <laughs> what if something goes wrong? <laughs> uh, all right, where's Timmy? He's 
probably. I'm annoyed, Martha. Timmy left his roller skates in my house again. He needs to learn to pick up after himself. Well, that's not safe, is it? Someone could. All right, we gotta find Timmy. Hello. Oh wait, this is the right. Isn't the right house? I really wish Pat would. This is Timmy's house. Pat, where's Timmy at? There he is. Hi. Want to play? Um, not really. Heard your parents don't love you anymore. That's mean. Betty says I should make you cry. Hey, look what I found. You're getting sent to military school. Uh. Okay, if I if I choose this, am I, is he going to offer another option? Let's see what happens. What? No, she didn't. Did she? Uh, yeah. I don't like her. She's creepy. I agree. She laughs at stuff that isn't funny. I know she does. Um. Okay. Sorry, kid, but you're going to get shipped off to the army. What? No, I'm not. Look, I have the brochure right here. You're going, pal. <laughs> but, but I don't want to go away. I don't want to leave my mommy. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> there probably was a better way to do that, but I... It wasn't obvious, so. <laughs> okay, bitch. I made I him cry. I want to play, but you went and did it anyway. Good for you. Wasn't it fun? Uh, yeah, it was just a, <laughs> a bundle of joy. Oh. I'm not sure I would have considered it. Very encouraging. Your reward for winning the game is to ask a single question. I will answer honestly and frankly. Okay. Where's my father? What's the place? Is who? Are, how do I get out of here? I'm not playing any more of your games. That's not a question. Um, well, where's my father? Ah, uh, yes. A predictable question, I suppose. Your father is here, in Tranquility Lane. He is quite safe for now, though he can no longer hound me with his incessant questioning. Okay. Perhaps you will see more of him in time. Um, what do I have to do to see him? Ah, uh, now that is just the sort of question you should be asking. Okay. You understand that I am in control, then? Excellent. You are far more promising than your father. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to do? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married. <laughs> He's just an like asshole. To change that. Uh, Put an end to their marriage, and we'll talk. Um. Fine, but it's only because I want more. Uh, no. Well, okay. Here's the thing, though. This is just a simulation. So it's not like they're really married. Um, it'll cause some mental trauma. To the. Well, but is everybody here an actual person? Yeah, because there were other people in the thing. So I am kind of doing mental damage to people. And we already made Timmy cry, which was mean as hell. Um, no, fuck you. Then I'm afraid we have... Okay, can I do this to you? You can't do that here. I just did it. And now you have to pay. I do? Oh, shit! Am I still a kid? I look pretty big for a kid. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Um, I guess we can't whack Betty over the head with a rolling pin. Son of a bitch. Um. Alright, wants us to talk to her again. Him. You I thought you didn't want to play, but you went and did it anyway. <laughs> okay. Your reward for winning. Um, I'm not playing any more of your games, asshole. No. I decide when you may leave, and unless you start cooperating, you're going to have a very long stay here on Tranquility Lane. I don't think so. All right. Okay, so we got to figure out how to activate that gnome in the abandoned house. Where's the abandoned house? It's, it was to the left of the lemonade stand. This one. Uh, let's go look around outside. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god, that was kind of funny. Scary, but funny. Okay, we need clues. Oh wait, that's Rockwell Resident. Don't like the one I have and don't want a new one. If I didn't rely on this is the abandoned house. It's a dog. Oh, activate doghouse. What did that do? Hmm. Let's go back in here for a minute. Oh, we got to Okay, we got to do this in a particular order. Gotcha. Okay. So, let's start with the bottle. And then the radio. Okay. We need to activate something else. Let's see if there's another starting one. Nope. It's got to start with the radio. Okay, we can't hit it twice. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'll bet we have to come back to one of these. Ah! Okay, you know what? I probably would recognize this tune, but the background music is making that difficult. So I'm going to turn the music all the way off. Hmm, okay, so... You know what? Actually, I'm going to write this down. <laughs> it's too hard for me to remember all this stuff. Okay, so we start with radio. Ah, it's the gnome next. Okay. And then maybe the Coke bottle? Ah -ha -ha! We did it! Awesome! Okay. Here we go. Okay. Auxiliary Command Terminal, please consult the supervisor before proceeding. Access Chinese Invasion Program, Access Version Control, Dr. Braun, Tucon Lagoon, Slalom Chalet, Tranquility Lane. Uh, okay. Uh, let's do Tranquility Lane. I think, are these like, these must like be all different thingies. Um, I have surprised myself. I find Tranquility Lane comforting, although distinctly American. It somehow reminds me of Cronach, the town of my childhood. There's a beautiful irony with this particular simulation as well. The residents here are naturally at home, naturally safe. When I toy with them, their suburban illusion is suddenly broken. It's that much more satisfying. This guy's an asshole. I do believe we shall all remain here in Tranquility Lane for a very long time. A very long time indeed. Okay. Um, let's go to uh, Slalom Chalet. Or, yeah. Yesterday, Dither slipped on the chalet's icy stairs went airborne and managed to impale herself on the wrought iron fence it was spectacular and completely and utterly random is there anything more sublime than that bold crimson on fresh fallen snow <laughs> it's a psychopath it was almost enough to make me reconsider a change of scenery but not quite 23 years is a long enough vacation in the swiss alps i long for something more domestic okay so these are other simulations that he used to do apparently 
I've finally come to the realization that the Toucan, uh, Toucan Lagoon simulation has run its course. I'm tired of the beating sun and ceaseless pounding of the lagoon's waves upon the shore. I no longer take pleasure in watching Simpson wither away from scurvy or hearing Nesbaum's screams as he's devoured by the Mako shark. <laughs> News bomb. Uh, I am quite simply bored. It is time to reset the simulation once again. I haven't been skiing in ages. All right. Version control. Display current version control. Uh, exceptions granted for pod 0001. Manual override for pods disabled. Remote access allowed. Updated neuro, neural inputs to override memory access for individual users. Revise the code. Authentication from required further before updates allowed. Unknown granted access altered by Esperant. Okay. Uh, display current uh, previous version notes. All previous versions wiped, authorized by Esperon. New program, Tranquility Lane. Okay. Um, access Chinese Invasion Program. Initiate Chinese Invasion Failsafe. Failsafe Program Documentation. Dr. Brown Entry Failsafe. There are days I consider finally pulling the plug, as it were, and putting a permanent end to both this simulation and my life. That is the reason I requested the installation of General Chase's Chinese Invasion Program after all. By disabling the safety protocols, I've ensured that each subject in Vault 112 will physically die if their in-simulation avatars are killed. Real-world death. End of simulation. The perfect failsafe. At least it would, have been, it would have been if not for my own misjudgment. I knew when the simulation first went online that the secondary safeties, those established for all Vault tech and military personnel, would prevent, prevent my own real-world demise in the event of a failsafe execution. In the end, I would kill the subjects and save myself. I wouldn't want it any other way, or so I thought. It's true the failsafe would scare the living hell out of every resident in Tranquility Lane and lead to their brutal deaths, but then what about me? I have no ability to disable my own safety from within the simulation, and any other avatars I could create would be driven by the simulation's AI routines, not actually living, thinking human subjects. Uh, where's the fun in tormenting a machine? And so, the release of the real-world subject is more than they deserve, more than I could bear... They'd be dead and I'd be left here in Tranquility Lane alone and tragically bored for all eternity. I can think of nothing more unacceptable. Uh, Failsafe program documentation. Here is the revised code for the military training program you've expressed interest in. I'm not sure exactly what you want with it, and I again stress that this program was never designed to be run with civilian equipment. Frankly, I don't even expect any system you have access to can even run it. But if you can run this program with the failsafes off, as requested, your real-world test subjects will die if killed in the simulation. It goes without saying that, officially, I denied your request. U.S. Military Training Program 923B Chinese Invasion. Purpose, simulate a communist incursion on U.S. soil. Documentation, cold, new protocols enacted. Disable safety protocols 1 through 6, override target acquisition. Warning, test subjects will experience real-world termination. Proceed with extreme caution. So... <sighs> So this is basically saying, in order for me to get out of here, I initiate this Chinese invasion, but these people will actually die for real, which, which I guess might even include my dad? What kind of fucking choice is that? Uh... Hmm... So, hmm. I, I don't know. I don't want to do that. I don't want to kill these people. I mean, I felt bad enough making Timmy news bomb cry. <sighs> okay, let's go. Do I have any clues whatsoever? Let's go talk to Betty and see what happens. You won the game! Are we willing to be reasonable now? I ask so very little of you. Um... Don't really have a choice. Wait a minute. Are, are, she's talking about making what's-their-names get divorced, right? I mean, here's the thing. 
if my options are play this asshole's games and cause some mental trauma for these people versus activating the Chinese invasion where they're going to actually die for real. Lesser of two evils, right? I mean, let's go talk to what's her name, the old lady, one more time first before we proceed. Well then, we have. All right. The old lady dithers. That's who we need to find. I don't remember where her house is. It's one of these in the circle. That's the abandoned house. Dithers. See if she has anything more, any other, any other clues or anything for us. Where'd she go? She must be out and about walking around. What's the big idea? You know what? I think she's actually whistling the tune. Da 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 da. Something like that. All right, Dithers, where are you? Yeah, she's whistling it. How funny is that? Okay, where, where the hell did Dithers go? Beautiful day, isn't it? Well, there you are. Remember what I told you? Yeah, 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 we did that. Um, no, so you don't have any more information for me. Damn it. I'm telling you, this can all end if you fuck. <sighs> well, shit. I have a really bad choice or I have an utterly diabolical choice. I think. I don't know what else I can do. Um... I'm going to read through I'm going to read through the those logs again and just see if I can find any other kind of potential clue here. All right guys, I didn't really uh, find anything else by rereading through the logs. So, I think what we'll do is we're going to just do the next dastardly deed um for Braun here and see if it opens up any other options to us besides killing everybody. Are we willing to be reasonable now? Not I really. Um, all right. I'll do I'm it. I'm glad you've chosen. What do you want me to do? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married. And I'd like you to <laughs> what an put asshole. an end to their marriage. Okay. Um, fine, but it's only because I need more answers. Any way you'd like. If you succeed, we'll continue. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. So, we got to find the Rockwell house. Um, oh, I guess it's over here. Hello. Hello. All right, so we we saw her diary up here earlier, so I'm sure that's what we got to do. Uh, I just don't know what to do anymore. Min's, uh, when Roger's not in that stupid basement, he's outside sweet-talking that hussy Martha Simpson. He's, he claims there's nothing between them, but I know it's all a lie. I found a woman's pendant once on, on Roger's workbench, but of course I said nothing. That's me, Janet Rockwell, prim and proper housewife, living a perfect life here on Tranquility Lane. Some days I wish I really had beat her to death with that rolling pin. Then Roger would know I'm the only girl in the world. Okay. Um, so I guess we're supposed to go down into the basement and find a pendant or something. Good day. Good day. Guess my light was already on. Uh, all right, so something about a pendant on a workbench. Don't really see a workbench down here per se. Activate Roger's desk. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's that um, nighty that we picked up earlier. 
Okay. Um. So now I guess we go tell Janet that to go look at the basement. Well, hi there. Hello. Anything? Yeah, you better come down to the basement. There's something you need to see. What were you doing in our basement? Um, What's down there? I, uh, you just, just come on down. It's very important. <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> Not sure why it was in your basement, but uh, I was just looking around. That's all. Okay. What's this? Women's clothing? Uh, down here? Y yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. What? What the hell is this? Um, it looks like Roger is a fan of women's clothing. But this isn't mine. What is this doing here? Um, well, uh, maybe it's his, you know, for him to wear when no one's looking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Roger. He, he wouldn't. But. Uh. Okay. So I guess she's going to go tell him what for now, right? Roger. What? What just happened? How did it come to this? I just don't understand. Oh, jeez. What an asshole thing to do, man. Now I feel terrible. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you know, here's the thing, too. This asshole's gonna just keep me wanting us to do worse and worse things. Um, so, I don't know. Let's just see what he says. You have turned out to be quite resourceful, it seems. I am slightly impressed. Slightly impressed. I enjoy your company far more than your father's. He responded quite negatively to my requests. Yeah, that sounds like him. All right. Um, I, I did what you wanted to do. N uh, now you have some explaining. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Right. Okay. Um, still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? Okay. Um, I know what this place is. I know what my father wanted from you. I need to know where my father is. He's here, and he is unharmed. He has merely been rendered unable to bother me. Okay. I don't know you're not lying to me. Maybe you haven't seen him at all. Oh, dear. Now you don't even believe me. How disappointing. Well, you aren't exactly trustworthy. I assure you. James and I talked at length before you arrived. Now let's continue before I grow bored with you. Um. I'm not agreeing to anything before you tell me what it is. Well, of course. Um. Fine, let's just get this over oh, with. Oh, come now. Show some enthusiasm. There are fewer rules this time. I'd like to see just what you're capable that of. That doesn't sound good. I'd like you to Oh, uh, of course. Now he wants me to murder somebody. Please put some effort into it. <sighs> you know what? Fuck you, man. Uh, I... Uh, no, I'm not gonna do it. Still, you resist me. When you know... Well, I am not going to beg you. You know what I ask of you? What have you done to my dad, asshole? Have you met Doc the dog? <gasps> he's another new arrival. Oh, he he's... Might seem a... He's the dog? Shit. Who are you? If you insist on an answer, then you may better know me as Doc. Yeah, I already I've knew that. I've chosen a different appearance for myself here, in my own little playground. Yeah. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Well, Dad, is that really you? Oh man. Okay. Um. All right. Here's the thing, you guys. I mean. Obviously, he's he's going to have me just keep doing worse and worse stuff, and now it's murder. I mean, it was kind of a dick move for me to make Timmy cry. It was a major dick move for me to break up the Simpsons marriage. But killing somebody, you know, an innocent person, and uh, I no. I, I think what we need to do is, is we need to... Uh, maybe we should do the Chinese thing and, and see if it brings up another option for us. Because, you know, if I just keep doing stuff for him, pretty soon I'm going to do more evil than just doing the Chinese thing to, to begin with. <laughs> I mean, I think. I don't know. 
I'm not sure what else to do. So let, let's just let's see if it gives us any other options. And if it doesn't, well, you know, at least it'll put all these poor people out of their misery. And this guy's been torturing them for like 200 years. It's not really a decision I want to make, but what choices do I have, right? All right, access the Chinese invasion program. Initiate the Chinese invasion failsafe. Why did you enable the failsafe? It was the right thing to do. These people don't deserve to be trapped in this simulation. Okay. But by untrapping them, they're going to die. Uh, I just want out of the simulation. I don't care about the people trapped. That's not true. I want to kill as many people in here. No, that's not true either. So this is the only answer that applies. Uh, did we do it? Oh, we gain karma. Exit tranquility lane. Help! Oh shit. Uh Hey. What do you realize what you've done? I do. You've triggered the failsafe. Yes. Ruined everything. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. Oh man, I feel so sorry for you. You ruined everything. Everything. Oh good. I'm calling the shots now. You? No, I. I am the creator of this world. You were the creator of this world. Now I'm the destroyer of your world. Feel so lost. So all alone. You know what this is? <laughs> uh, I came here for my father. Now where is he? <laughs> Didn't you figure it out? Huh? The dog. So oh, I guess we did figure that I out. simply made him what he always was. What? Asshole. Um, tell me about the Gek. The Garden of Eden creation kit. It was for terraforming. For restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology. And ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? Yeah, except for this isn't real. Um, so my father's okay? I can get him back? Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. Okay. But there's no one waiting for me. Oh, I'm just, that's so heartbreaking. I already know who he is. I already know about this place, so. Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything. I have no power over you. Does that mean I can hit you over the head with my... Ooh. There's the door. Go. If you have no power Hello, over now. me... Shit. Um. Can I do this? You can't do that here. Uh oh. And now you have to pay. <laughs> I guess I thought I had this. She had no power over me anymore. What the hell, man? <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh shit. Okay, let's let's just go. Let's just go. <laughs> we already know what happens. Um, uh, I can't get out of this thing. Do I have, do I have to wait to talk to him? Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Yeah. Um. Hi, Dad. It's so good to see you, but. What are you doing here? I'm looking for you. Came to find you. Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for Braun, or I might have fared better. I understand. Guy was a class A asshole. Class A. A for asshole. Good thing I showed up to save you, huh? What? What? You didn't like being a dog? No, let's not be an asshole. It certainly is. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. I'll bet. And thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity isn't lost after all. All right, so some good did come of all this? What did you learn? I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. Well, that's good news. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. Okay. So you're going back to River City? Yes. 
What I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. Nice. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. Sounds good to me. I don't have anything better to do. Uh, all right, let's go. That's my boy. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I changed my mind. I'm not going to go with you. Can we talk for a minute? What exactly is Project Purity? Oh, man. How did Mom really die? I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. Oh, you mean all the lies? Yeah? But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. Okay. Um, that sucks. So tell me more about the water, exactly. The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean, and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. Makes sense. Okay. Um, what happened to Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt, and then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I, we lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. Okay. What exactly is Project Purity? It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Okay. Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's Tidal Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. I've seen it. Yeah, not seen it work, though. All right, um, more to talk about. Of course, son. What's on your mind? Um, can't we just go back to the vault, back to the way... No, I don't want to do that. Um, oh, that's getting all weird on me. Okay. How could she leave, leave like that? What the hell were you thinking? I mean, yeah, that's a fair question. I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. <laughs> How'd that work out for you, man? <laughs> a plan which clearly yeah, was not right. as successful as I imagined it would be. Uh-huh. Uh, why would you put yourself at risk like this? you have some sort of death wish? Is this about mom? Are you trying so hard because of what happened to her? Um, let's do the mom question. Oh, my son. If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. Okay. She gave up so much for this project. We all did. And I don't want that to have been for nothing. I think I understand. Glad we talked. Okay. So am I, son. While this isn't what I have in mind, it's good to have you with me. All right. Um, I want to talk to you about something. Uh, What's on your... Let's just see what he says if we ask this question. Somehow, I don't think the overseer yeah. would agree with that. <laughs> Probably wouldn't. What's done is done. But if we succeed, if we can make Project Purity a reality, we can create a new life for ourselves out here. He doesn't even know I killed the overseer. Um, you really think you can do this, make this thing work? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. 
With what I've learned from Dr. Braun, I know it can work. Okay. That's why it's so important to find a Gek as soon as possible. It's the key to Project Purity. Gotcha. All right. Um, so glad we I talked. Son. Okay. Change my mind. No, I'm. Uh, we're gonna. I have to go. Be careful, my son. Nice. <clears throat> okay, so um, children cannot use that. Uh, how do I get out of this thing? I'm stuck. What the hell? Activate Tranquility Lounger. Okay, this is a problem. Nothing I'm pressing gets me out of this seat. Hmm. Uh, I might have to run an admin command and remove collision or something, but... Um... This is not quite what I expected. Maybe we'll just levitate out and when we change the cell, everything will be fine. This is really weird. Hmm. Okay, let's turn collision back on. Children cannot use that. Okay, this is a problem. If I do a game save and then reload, what will happen? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, I got out. Okay. Whew. All right. I was worried there for a minute that maybe our game save was like completely broken. Hello. Sir. Hello. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.